guys, Kay in here with the History Rats, and today we're talking about the world's ugliest woman. Now, I'm not saying that she really has the title. Listen to the story and find out. At the age of 29 in 1903, Mary Ann Webster married a handsome young man named Thomas Bevan. Upon her marriage, she became known as Mary Ann Bevan and had four children with Thomas. She paid a heavy price for motherhood as she was since struck with one illness after another. Migraines, muscle pains, deteriorating eyesight, and various other problems began to torment her as Mary Ann's health began to deteriorate. Bad luck followed her persistently through the years, and 11 years after her marriage, her husband passed away. This left her a widow with four children to fend for. Worse still, her husband left her with almost no money cater to cater to her and her children's basic needs. However, Mary Ann Bevan rose to the occasion and strove to do anything possible to keep her children well fed and support them through life. As her health deteriorated, her appearance began to change over time. Her basic facial structure metamorphed into an abnormal manner, making her look more and more masculine by the day. Not only her face, but her entire body changed with larger limbs and a larger torso. This was the onset of a rare disease called acromagaly. Acromagaly? A C R O M E G A L Y. You tell me how to say it. Which stems from a neurodoctrine disorder. As a consequence of this disorder, there is an increase in the growth hormones in the body, which leads to enlargement of soft tissue. It also results in the development of a benign tumor known as pituitary. Pituitary adenoma. I'm not a doctor. I'm not. If you're a doctor and you want to tell me how to say these things, you tell me in the comments. You leave me a comment. And if you don't know how to say it, you hit that thumbs up button because you're my people. So the, this door. This, I can't talk. English major. Mm. Though this disorder is now treatable, back in the 20th century, it had no cure. So, here is a picture. Mm. That's, fate is not always kind. With the passing of her husband, Mary Ann had to look for a job that would pay her enough to sustain her four children and herself. She applied to a number of prospective employers, but was turned away time and again owing to her physical abnormalities. Labeled as a freak, she ran out of options for daily jobs and was struggling to make ends meet. Out of the blue... Marianne came across a contest for the title of World's Ugliest Woman. Contrary to her rosy dreams as a beautiful young woman, she set forth to participate in this humiliating contest and surprisingly won. She received a fairly large sum of money as a prize which allowed her to support her family for a while. Her win also led to her being publicized in newspapers and op openly mocked and humiliated. As grueling as it was, she refused to bow down to adversity and chose to look at the silver lining. The tag of freak could be exploited to feed her family. Eventually, Coney Island's Dreamland show invited Mary to the United States of America to display her ugly appearance for a profit. Now look. I know we got people out here with the OnlyFans making money on their uh, assets. 
This is taking it to a whole new level. You go, Marianne. You go. Man, if you gotta be ugly, at least make money being ugly. This lady is a genius. Hell, sign me up for the freak show.